Hi everyone, back with another update for you, potentially the last update maybe? We have had a pretty major breakthrough. Let me just give you a little backstory if you are new here, if you're just clicking on this video. The short version. Version. Okay. I was a virgin before I got married. So once I got married and finally had sex, I learned, uh, hey, this is like incredibly painful. It was literally painful when my husband would touch me at all in my vestibule. Penetration was excruciating and I would cry. Went to lots of doctors for the course of about a year. Finally found out that I have vestibulodynia, which I never know if I'm saying that right, but just look it up. So I had a vestibulectomy, which is a surgery to remove all of that tissue. I had stitches. That was in September. So now we are four months post-op. Anyway, I was kind of paranoid, as you can see in some of my other videos, that things weren't going to get better. But patience is a virtue. Patience is wonderful. And went to physical therapy a bunch. There was pretty much just this one tender area still. And... Honestly, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to break this scar tissue up. It is very thick and hurts. And as you saw in my last video, sex was still painful. Not anymore, guys. Not anymore. I would say that it is not pleasurable yet. It's still uncomfortable just because that's a whole different issue that I'm going to get into. But here is what happened. So, as you saw from the last video, I was feeling brave. I was like, okay, let's just try it out. Sex still hurt, but it wasn't too bad. And so, I have still been using my numbing stuff and I use my dilators before we have intercourse because I am scared if he just went straight in there without me stretching out at all, then it would just like rip my vagina up. For the course of about a week, we just decided let's just do it every day and let me tell you that was the key. I really do think that just kind of like shocking that area and stretching that skin out so often just broke that scar tissue up and after one week, I did not have pain anymore. It was insane. Like that area was just so tender from, you know, having surgery and the scar tissue and healing. I thought, oh, this is going to definitely take a few more months to heal. But in one week, one week, and I honestly kind of think, so if you saw my video where I went to a bunch of appointments and I spoke with someone about doing like a pudendal nerve block, different type of, you know, blocks in that area where then afterwards you go to physical therapy and they do aggressive physical therapy kind of just to break that tissue up and really get in there because you're numb, that area is blocked of any pain, and so they can just really get in there. I kind of feel like that's what we just did at home because I did use my 4% lidocaine numbing stuff that I have, and then my husband is larger than any of my dilators, and so it just kind of broke it up throughout the week. Anyway, that is my update. I no longer have pain, and so I don't know if this is the end of me posting about this medical issue. It's definitely not the end of our journey because the next hurdle is learning to enjoy sex because I honestly have like a 0% sex drive and I think that is due to the anxiety depression medication that I'm on. It really, really destroys that and I am not willing to go off of it because I have been there before and I destroyed my relationship I was in because I was a crazy person and I don't want my husband to see that. I don't want to feel like that. So I'm happy where we're at that there's no longer any pain, but obviously I want to learn how to enjoy intercourse and enjoy my husband and have it feel good. And so let me know if you guys want to continue to see updates. I don't know if anyone watching this also has a low sex drive, but there are a few different courses of action that we could take. We have a sex therapist we saw before I had surgery because doctors thought that the pain was in my head and I just needed to relax, which it wasn't. I actually had a medical problem and they were wrong, but we did enjoy seeing her. I think it's always good to just have a third party that you can discuss things with, talk to, get new ideas from. And I have heard, you know, that your biggest sex organ is your brain. 
and my brain does not know how to turn off so we might go back to her we've done kind of like sensory deprivation type stuff and she's tried to teach me just to focus on the feeling you know if someone was touching your arm like what does that feel like oh it feels kind of tickly or warm and not necessarily put a good or a bad rating I guess on it because one thing that I'll do is get very frustrated very quickly if it doesn't necessarily feel good or how I think it's supposed to feel then I'll just get really frustrated and be like something's wrong with me I'm not feeling what other girls feel when they're touched in this certain way and then I just get mad and that doesn't help anything so sex therapy there is also this woman's drug that is supposed to help boost your sex drive it's called Addy, but i don't necessarily want to jump to being on another medication because i don't know how that will react with the current medication that i'm on and i don't know i just am a little apprehensive to jumping to drugs that sounded weird and you know i definitely also think that my husband and i just need to take the time to figure out what i like i think it's a common theme in some relationships that women take much longer to warm up to get in the mood and whatnot whereas a guy can be ready in five minutes and so we definitely need to have a chat about that i've mentioned it before but when he gets back we're gonna we're gonna talk about that so i don't know let me know if you guys want to hear about about how to improve your sex drive as I learn how to or if you have any tips for me let me know because this is an important part of a relationship and I find it interesting that it's never talked about it's funny because I think back to right when I got married and I was having this excruciating pain I was trying to talk to a couple of my friends about their experience you know whether they had pain or anything they would not say anything and I'm like I'm not trying to be creepy I'm literally just asking asking you like do you also feel this i know that it's a personal thing to people you know what they do in the bedroom obviously but i just wish that we could be a little more open because some women like have never been able to enjoy sex or orgasm and why not share our tips and whatnot with each other to help each other be happy and have pleasure in our marriages and in our life i just i don't know that's that's something that I find very interesting that is not talked about. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Like I said, let me know if you want to continue to see things about that journey from me. If not, uh, thanks for following along. Thanks for being here. You're welcome to message me on Instagram if you guys are at the start of that journey as well. If you have any questions about my surgery, about my doctor, I would be happy to help. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more, this year I am trying to get my channel. I know it's a lofty goal, but I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. It would mean so much to me if you have found my videos helpful, if you could subscribe or share this video with other people. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.